In this video I'll take a look at the Heathkit AG9A audio generator. This model is electrically identical to the Heathkit IG72 audio generator which I've previously covered in another YouTube video. So rather than covering it in detail I'll just outline some of the unique features of this model and the restoration of this particular unit. You can watch the IG72 video to get more detailed information on the unit's features and specifications. The AG9A audio generator produces sine waves in the audio range from 10 Hz to 100 kHz. It features calibrated output and a meter. As such, it was considered a lab quality instrument with more features than the lower end models aimed at hobbyists and repair shops. It was made from 1957 to 1962. This 1959 Heathkit catalog listed at a price of US $34.50. It was one of a line of audio generators offered by Heathkit directly preceded by the almost identical AG9 model. It was replaced by the IG72 which was offered from 1962 to 1977. Seen here with an IG72 on the right, you can see that the two units are identical in features and in fact use exactly the same circuit. They differ only in the color and style of the case and controls. This was common with Heathkit test equipment with various styles offered over the years. I bought this unit in September of 2015 on Kijiji from a local seller as part of a lot of four pieces of Heathkit test equipment. It's missing the top handle and two of the feet. Only the upper left knob is original. The meter cover is a little yellowed and burned, probably from the pilot lamp, and has some cracks. There are two extra holes drilled in the case and lettering added around the marked circuit check. This is something of a mystery. The holes are empty and there's nothing accessible behind them. There's also another hole drilled in the chassis. My guess is that someone had run some wires out those holes, or maybe some banana jacks, but I have no idea why. Whatever the modification was, it was later removed. Someone did go to the trouble of adding the circuit check lettering, did quite a nice job of it. It did not come with a manual, but copies are available on the internet and I have an original IG72 manual. After some visual inspection, I powered it up slowly with a Variac. The pilot light came on and the meter moved up part way, but the output was mostly 60 Hz noise with some occasional pulses. After some time poking around, I found a broken wire going to the frequency switches. After that, it started producing output, but not reliably. I replaced all four fixed resistors in the oscillator circuit as they were quite out of spec. This got the output working correctly. Looking inside, the construction job is quite poor, and it appears that some parts were replaced over the years. The builder had written some things like the tube types on the chassis. You can compare the construction with my IG72 on the right, which uses the same circuit. The difference is quite noticeable with the IG72 assembled with much better workmanship. I ran through the adjustment procedure which calibrates the output so that the meter reading is accurate. Frequency accuracy is not as great as it could be. The 1% resistors are all discolored. It also looks like someone tweaked the highest range caps with several capacitors, either to improve the accuracy or because they didn't have the correct replacement value on hand. I replaced the knobs with chicken head types so they at least match each other. Incidentally, you can get new chicken head knobs quite cheaply on eBay from various Chinese sellers. I just ordered some more as I exhausted my supply. Unfortunately, I don't know of any source of inexpensive replacement Heathkit knobs. The line cord is in pretty bad shape and should be replaced. I would also replace the paper and electrolytic capacitors if I was to use this unit on a regular basis. As you can see on this oscilloscope, which is also a Heathkit model, the AG9A produces a very clean sine wave output over the full range of frequencies. Audio generators were one of the mainstays of Heathkit's test equipment line, with many models offered over the years. 
The AG9A is pretty typical, being a reasonably high quality instrument that's sold as a kit for a significantly lower price than commercially assembled units. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other YouTube videos on vintage radio and test equipment.